In last week's show, our intrepid genius reached the end of his tether with the gaseous activities in the master bedroom. The gaseous activities of the night are taking the toll on my creative soul. My very genius! Fueled with the vigor of his convictions to seal up the problem once and for all, genius struck him like a lightning bolt. Eureka! And we join him now as his plans take shape in the laboratory. During the mere journey from the house to the laboratory, the formulation of 105 patentable ideas had struck my hairdo like a lightning rod. Aha! Yes! Genius, no less. Ideas fizzed from my follicles, travelling across the air to imprint onto a sheet of my special mind-sensitive wax paper that's attuned to my specific brain waves. Developing before me was the cure for one problem and, as often the case, the solution to another. The answers to both night flatulence and of how to power my gas-driven organ blowers in the more remote parishes where candle power was still preferred over electric trickery. An ingenious system using a self-tensioning, self-sealing bedsheet set above a gas-siphoning mattress that feeds gas into a storage tank that will be used to power the entire organ world! Oh, and the organ alarm clock, which, since I've tinkered with it last night, is definitely underwinded. I shall call it Gaseous Eradicus. Oh, no thunderclap. Hmm, I need a better name. I have it. How about mm, Gas Gaseous Mattress? Aha! Gaseous Mattress! Hmm, still no thunderclap. How disappointing. I thought that was a good un. Come on, think, man, think. Ah, what about? Yes, Eureka! I got it! Trump non shamard Heavens, that thunderclap nearly blew the roof off the Grange. I calculated that Cook would need to increase the efficacy of her menu if both mattress and my pipe organ alarm clock were to be fed simultaneously. I instantly raffled off an encyclopedic recipe book designed to synthesize food to maximize gas output whilst simultaneously reduce night flatulence to a rich, lulling-like, undergirding rumble formulated to keep me in snooze land. I telephoned Harry and Fred at the factory, instructing them to knock out a prototype in time for Tuesday, when Cook is due to bake an enormous cauliflower cheese bake. Hello, you've reached the Hope Jones Organ Factory, Birkenhead. Mr. Carruthers speaking. Ah, hello, Harry. Good evening, Mr. Hope Jones. What can I do for you at this fine late hour? Ah, well, Harry, I don't know. Oh, what are you doing there at this fine late hour? Well, we had a breakthrough with the design of your plunger device, sir. Oh, splendid. Well, I don't know if you can hear it, but my head is absolutely abuzz with ideas. A genius must carry such burdensome loads, sir. Such creative weight. Yes, weight indeed. But Harry, I now have the solution to the gas problem. Really, Harry, leave the puns to me, please. I'll put a cork in it, sir. When can we expect your instructions? My design will reach you on the morrow by express partridge. I need you to create the prototype by Tuesday when Cook is due to make up an immense cauliflower cheese bake. In the meantime, take down the following instructions. Yeah, yeah, I think that's possible, sir. Oh. Oh, dead good, sir. Brill. Brill? That's a scouse word meaning brilliant, sir. Ah, I see. Oh, that's a big one, if you don't mind me saying, sir. <laughs> Got it. 
Sorted. Dead sound, sir. Dead sound? What sound's dead, Harry? What do you mean, sir? You said dead sound. Do you mean some kind of sound dampening? Oh, no, that's scouseful. Very good, sir. When something is good, we say dead good or sound or both. Ah, well, we don't want to deaden the sound in the bedroom, so it's most appropriate. This should be dead easy, sir. I thought this project was going to be dead hard. Dead hard? Do you mean some kind of reinforced material, like concrete, should be used? No, that's local speak again, sir. Fred! What? You knock it off! I'm on the phone! Sorry! Oh, what's that kerfuffle down the phone, Harry? Oh, nothing, sir. I was just giving some creative input to uh, Fred at the voicing machine. Oh, very good. Carry on. Thank you, sir. You should get this idea patented quick before Mr. Willis gets his specs on it. Uh, Are you all right there, sir? Don't mention the W word, Harry. Oh, sorry, sir. I forgot you don't like Mr. Willis being mentioned. Uh, don't worry, sir. From what I've heard, he needs this device more than you. You're not kidding. Right, you've got shy of a week to get it done. We'll have to stop working on developing the plunger device, sir. Yes, put a hold on the plunger device. Heavens help us if you can't finish on time. Without this device, Harry, my genius could be lost forever. Are you still there, Harry? Oh, yes, sir. I was just waiting for your thunderclap, sir. Oh, yes, the thunderclaps. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, those have been a little bit intermittent of recent, but I'm feeling my spark coming back, so there's no need to bring the matter up in front of Cecil. Uh, we don't want to worry wifey unnecessarily now, do we? Oh dear, we can't have that. Right, good night, sir. Okay, Fred, tell the men to stop whatever they're doing. There's an emergency at the Grange. Did you, uh, mention the W word, Harry? I couldn't help myself, Fred. And now, a word from our sponsor. Are you tired of your old, worn-out, hand-wound foghorn? Not cutting through the fog like it once used to? Is it getting you into all sorts of nautical scrapes? If you answered yes to at least one of these questions, then you need the diaphone. The latest and greatest tone device from the Hope Jones Organ Company that the world has ever heard. Designed to blast that fog to smithereens, all the while producing the loveliest of tones. Call our Birkenhead office today to arrange a demonstration at a foggy coast near you. After all, why let Siren send those sailors to a watery grave when you can serenade them on into calm waters? Oops. Hmm. Traction ready in time for Tuesday, we'll be back to dreamy, dreamlike, restful sleep. Good night, my Good night, my darling Cecil. Oh, I forgot to set the organ alarm clock. <laughs> ah, let's see what the automatic alarm button produces tonight. Ah. Always a suitable selection. J.
Tune in to the next episode to find out if Harry and Fred can build the Trump nonchamard before Cook's enormous cauliflower cheese bake appears on the dining room table in Profoundly Hope Jones. Thank you.